Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are off to the Whit Sundays. We are ditching the van. See our van and car. We're going out in the tinny. The Black Pearl's going to get us a good run. We're going to go camp at North Mole Island in the Whit Sundays, snorkeling, camping, a little bit of fishing. Probably just wine and dine ourselves and just really like let, look after it. So, really, really excited. Super, super excited. The weather is nah, a little bit breezy, pretty calm, pretty calm conditions considering, but not much sun around. As you can see behind me, it's a little bit overcast, but we're heading out. Rain, hail, or shine. We're setting up, kids are coming, we're all going. Stay with us. See you then. Woo! First morning here on South Mole Island. It was really, really nice. I was a bit anxious because of the tinny. I got up a couple of times to check on it, but it was all good. Just had a coffee, a bit of brekkie. We're gonna go snorkeling. Hopefully the sun comes out a little bit. The water's so beautiful and clear, but without the sun, it sort of just doesn't make for it. You know what I mean? So, finish oh, having breakfast, yeah. gear up, go see what we can see under the water. Look at this guy. We've been following him around in the on this area of the Whit Sundays where we're allowed to spear. We chased him for a good 15 minutes. He kept ducking and weaving. When I came back over, a little bomby and there he was just sitting perched up. Nailed him. How beautiful is that? We're eating well tonight. Ew. Beautiful morning here, finally no wind at South Mole Island and today we're going to head over to the main Whitsundays Island, Whitehaven Beach. Today we're really going to treat ourselves. Lunch, a couple of wines, a couple of, a bit of dining, a bit of wining, a bit of dining. But, <laughs> should be a good day, should be a really good day, hopefully. Kids are all ready, they're all going to be on their best behaviour, aren't you kids? Yeah? Perfect. Look how glassy it is. It's Look just a beautiful. beautiful day. Not a puff of wind. 
We've emptied the tinny so we can really get there in good time. I think it's about a 25k journey. Nautical miles, I have no idea. But it's gonna be a cracker. Today, the days has too, been too good. We've cruised over to Whitehaven Beach. Spent the day just, or oh, the most of the morning there, just on the beach. Snorkeling, kids have been playing, it's been awesome. Now we've just cruised back up to Daydream Island. We've come, checked in as guests, so we've moored the tinny up in the mooring. It's the biggest boat in the marina, it's unbelievable. And we're gonna go have, have a nice lunch, maybe a couple of drinks. Kick back. We're here till five o'clock. We can stay till five as day guests, and then we've got to go. But we're just across the way. We're literally 100 meters from where we're camping, so let's go and enjoy it. Spoiling yourself, Daddy. Spoiling myself. Spoiling the family. Not just myself. Sydney has a beautiful view overlooking to our campsite. <laughs> uh, it's been good. It's been a good couple of weeks. Oh, sorry. It's been a good week here. And I thought maybe we're coming to an end. Of, a couple of days left, so I thought maybe we'd enjoy it. Enjoy the finer things in life, as I love to do. Children, take them away. You know what? My box wine tastes way better. Fuck, where are we? Seafood buffet dinner. Uh, Daydream Island is looking amazing. Just finished up our four nights out of the wind Sundays. We've had an absolute cracking time. On the downside, the weather has absolutely picked up and turned to crap, which is not so bad. It's made a bit of a hairy trip in. We're all rugged up. Everyone's batting down the hatches. What do you reckon? Mumsy's on Lenny, Lenny's falling asleep. This is what we're dealing with. Riding the waves in. So 
So this is a this is a copied idea. This is not 100 percent my idea. It's actually I've got this idea of this guy across the road for ages. I've been trying to work out how I can have a stone protector from the back of the van because the van is starting to get a, quite a few um, stone chips and whatnot um, on these toolboxes. The toolboxes are there. They're great protecting it, but now I'm starting to get rock sit up on the back of the tailgate behind the rear swingaways. And my outboards there, jerry cans, fuel, all that sort of stuff. I don't really want to be spilling that or wrecking things. I just met a guy across the way here and he showed me and for about 100 bucks from Bunnings, which is about, I don't know, they're about 500 to buy, I think, five 600 to buy. Um, that's more or less lock for lock, exactly how he had it. 25 mil um, aluminium box tubing with some 25 mil flat bar and just rubber from Bunnings. So all I've done is just screwed that through onto there with roofing screws and then just use U-bolts and D-shackles. And underneath the car, I'll get under and show you this. Underneath the car is just this like plastic covered chain and then that just wraps around underneath there and that will pull in on the, they pull in together on the same angle misses my spare wheel and misses my exhaust so i don't have to do any more modifications i don't have to change anything because quite frankly i'm getting over changing stuff on this car <coughs> so now after that that is just a bit of a protector to protect against the tire because that will sit onto the tire those chains are quite tight and this rubber matting that I've used has got a ribbed um, texture to it to hopefully like dampen dampen the, the rocks flying up hopefully it works all in theory should work it sits about 50 mil off the ground which is hopefully enough to work I've spoken to a few people with rock tamers and they say you got to have them about 50 mil off the ground because if they drag they flick the rocks twice as hard now we're heading back up into cape york we're going to be exposed to a lot more dirt roads and national parks and hopefully getting into some more more serious camping which i really can't wait get out of caravan parks and hopefully be a bit more free with our time so as it stands i'm just going to let this sticker go off a little bit once that goes off bolt it back up and we'll be good to go. Today is truly being a car, van and tinny makeup. Off to wash the outside of the car. Let's do it. <laughs> 